Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric, back again with another video. And if you look closely, there's only one Model 3 because our red Model 3 is gone. Yes, we did sell it. So of course the morning that I go to edit the footage that you just saw, I got a new software update for my car. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Huge thank you goes out to our grammar tool, Nicola Pro, and Drone Quote supporting this channel at the all electric tier. Click the link down below and support this channel for as little as a dollar a month. Okay, let's check out what we got in this update. Green traffic light chime. So now it's going to play a chime when the traffic light you're waiting at turns green. If you're waiting behind another car, the chime will play once the car advances, unless traffic aware cruise control or auto steer is active. When traffic light or stop sign control is activated, a chime will play when you can confirm and proceed through a green light. So you're still going to have to confirm by pulling down the gear stock or pressing the pedal, but it will now play a chime instead of just displaying a message on the screen. Speed assist improvements. Speed Assist now leverages your car's cameras to detect speed limit signs. So before they were just using map data. So some of you might have seen that it was a bit off. I know I've done a video on this before. So now that you're going to use the cameras on the car to help improve that and actually get images of the speed limit signs. And it says that it will be shown in the driver visualization uh, so that area when you're driving. So pretty cool to see that. Cruise speed setup. So you can now tap the speed, the speedometer at the top of the display when you're driving. Now of course you could tap the speed limit sign before and I know I've showed you guys that before but now you can just tap the current speed that you're going and it'll go and set your relative speed Okay, so that was it for the release notes. Now, let's go for a test drive. Okay, so you can see here I've engaged autopilot and I'm waiting at a red light. The mic volume is turned all the way up from the in-car audio and you'll hear that. So there is no chime whatsoever when that car goes. Now, of course, I did make sure that the green light chime is on. And so I give it another try at a different stoplight. And here we go, the light turns green and nothing. No so there is no chime as you hear my audio from inside the car there. Now I did get an idea because I typically under the navigation menu have the volume completely turned off. So I don't like to hear the lady when I'm doing the navigation. So if you go under navigate and turn up the volume, then you will hear the chime and I do test that right here. So you saw, heard a brief chime and then I pulled down on the driver stock. Now that chime is for an unsupported intersection, completely different. Now here, sorry for the shaky video, but here is a glimpse of the new cruise control. It makes it a lot easier to engage cruise control simply by tapping and then it will go to that speed. Now again here we did hear a chime that I was probably talking over and a left turn here with another unsupported intersection. So this is a nice feature and I definitely tested it also without autopilot on. When the autopilot system recognizes that there is a green light, it will still do the chime, which is nice as it just a reminder like, hey dummy, the light is green. So autopilot is helping you out even when autopilot isn't turned on. Of course, I'm gonna still run this software update through my normal testing. So be sure to stay locked to the channel so you get all those videos as well. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay tuned in to all future videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.